What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Jackson. Today, I want to talk about what I share with you guys some voca new vocabulary I've learned from a new video, John Wick gun shopping scene. Last time I did the same, a similar type of the episode, and that was. A video about a Joe Rogan podcast clip. So today, let's do another video, and that is John Wick gun shopping. I picked some for uh new words here. Of course, uh, there are more, especially if there are some technical terms for guns and. I'm not sure whether I will use it in the future, but I may look that up if I'm interested in. But here, I pick some words that may be useful, or it is more less. Uh, it is more general words for our daily use. So let's begin. The first word is fondness. Fondness, not fond, fondness. In a original script, it is fondness, but uh, you can just search the word fond as an adjective. We use fondness for something, so this is how I learn vocabulary. I don't learn the single word fondness. I will learn a phrase. Is it called a phrase? Um. Just a yes, a phrase. I will learn how to. You know. I'm oh I not I don't learn a single word together because I don't I will forget how because I don't know how to use it. So I will learn a phrase. Uh, at a time. So fondness for something. Fondness for expensive clothes, and I s include the script here. I know of your past fondness for the German varietals, varietal, varietals, varietals. Yes, American accent. You cannot pronounce the T. Varietals. Next word. Know of somebody for something. And uh, the meaning. I'll put it like this. The guy knows something, and I tell the guy, "I know you know that thing," and that is know of somebody of something. I know of your past fondness for the German varietals, so you you like the German varietals, and I know you know it. I know you like it, so I know of. Your past fondness for the German varietals. That's how we use it. Maybe w my explanation is not that accurate, but you know, as long as it feels good, then everything is good. Next, varietal, varietal, or if you use British English, British, British English varietals. Varietal, so American English, variet, v, v. You cannot forget the v, v. Varietal, varietal. Oh my God, that's pretty difficult to pronounce. Varietal. Uh, yeah. usually this word, uh, is used to describe wine, but I don't know. Here they describe guns. I don't know. Maybe just because it is, it is John Wick. Hard to explain. Varietal. Next, wholehearted. 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 That's right. Wholehearted. Uh, I think this word is a bit formal here. Um, the meaning is involving all your feelings and interest, etc. Uh, so. If you say I agree wholeheartedly 
with somebody. Okay, I really, 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 really agree. I'm so agree. I don't know why. I must agree that. So kind of like this emotion, but I can wholeheartedly endorse the new breed of Austrians. So kind of like a. Use this one. Use that one. Use that one. Use the new breed of Austrians. Take that. Take that. Some kind. Something like that. Next word: endorse. Don't forget the R if you want to say in American accent. Endorse. Endorse. Not endorse. Endorse. Uh, you can say it is promote. Promote something. Something, something, promote something, or to su- suggest something. I can wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly endorse the new breed of Austrians. I can wholeheartedly endorse the new breed of Austrians. So, there you go, new breed of Austrians. Take it. New breed or new type. Particular particular kind of a person or type of a thing. New breed, new breed of Austrians. So what is Austrians? Uh, if you look at the original video, you know that Austrians refers to the guns made in Austrian. Austria made in. Austria. I don't know if I'm correct. So it will be Glock thirty-four and Glock thirty-six. By the way, I'll put the link in the description so that you you know what I'm talking about. New breed, new breed of Austrian. Fine, fine. There are lots of meaning of fine. The word fine. One of them is very good, high standard, high quality, legit thing, finest cutlery. The finest cutlery, all freshly stowed. So what is cutlery? Knives, forks, spoons, silverware. I don't know why they use cutlery to describe those knives. How to explain? Maybe because it's just because of John Wick. This is John Wick. This is John Wick shopping for guns. You gotta make it special. You cannot use normal vocabulary. You need to make it legit. Make it badass. So cutlery. Finest cutlery, all freshly stoned. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, for the following episodes, I will keep doing the John Wick thing because I set, I set it aside because uh in the past because I. Uh, had a new project, and that was uh, the how to build your workout series. But now I have completed the series, and so I can jump right back in to this project. I cannot say this project, but uh, you can say project. Okay, so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Jackson. Hope you like this video, and I will see you soon.